one of the things that we hope to talk about in the Justice and Society program is how we uh, reconcile our policy choices with questions of justice and questions of constitutional law. There was this discussion of when, is inact when does inactivity have an impact on the market? And the analogy that was made by the plaintiffs is, can the federal government force you to do something which is good for you, or good for all of us collectively, uh, which is buying health insurance? And Vincent's answer to that is no, because uh, to do that, you are um, you're taking something which is basically non-activity, and the uh, implications for interstate commerce are very contingent, and you are putting the federal government into that. And then the question is, if the federal government can get into that, then where does it stop? Is there anything that the federal government can't regulate? And if the Commerce Clause means anything, it means that there have to be some limits to that regulation. As time passes, uh, aspects of the uh, reform bill are being implemented in the states. Even the states that have, are parties to the lawsuit are doing implementation as they have to. And so over time, the impetus to oppose the bill will start to fall away as the facts on the ground change. Um, so time actually favors the administration here as we move forward. On the other hand, if there are problems, uh, the administration may not necessarily want to bet the whole farm that the Supreme Court is going to rule in the, their favor, and they may want to perhaps take some air out of the balloon by working with Republicans to try to find reforms that would make the bill more acceptable all the way around. And one of the things that the administration can do now is to look at questions like tort reform, which is something that the Republicans had pushed for that was not included in the final version of the bill. Uh, they can look at other means of, of holding down costs, and that might be a sufficient olive branch that eventually some of this Republican opposition will fall away. When the case gets to the Supreme Court, all eyes are going to be on Justice Kennedy. And uh, we had a visitor here at the Aspen Institute last week, Professor Noah Feldman of Harvard, uh, and we had different views on this. Professor Feldman said that he viewed the uh, pursuit of this litigation as a, a frivolous claim which might very well win Justice Kennedy's vote. And I view it just the opposite. I think that this is a non-frivolous claim uh, which Justice Kennedy is going to be very unlikely to, uh, to rule with the governors on because this is a very major piece of legislation passed by the Congress, one of the most significant bills passed in the last 30 years by the Congress. And uh, out of respect for the separation of powers, there is going to be real reluctance to interfere with that act of Congress. So uh, Kennedy is, is going to have a very tough choice to make. Uh, when he, he makes his, his decision about this. His past Commerce Clause jurisprudence has tended to suggest that he will be sympathetic to the challenge. On the other hand, the magnitude of the impact of overturning this act is going to be enormous and is going to be something that, that I think that Justice Kennedy may be reluctant to do.